Hi guys, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across with this channel, please consider subscri subscribing, support this channel by subscribing. By the way, don't forget to click the bell icon, it will be the only way that you will be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for the returning subscribers for coming back to this channel. By the way, if you're new, please support this channel by subscribing. It's Max from the Max Creation. Remember, the Ministry cancels licenses of 12 labor recruitment offices in Qatar. As per the latest information, the Qatar news we have is that the Ministry cancels out 12 recruitment labor offices uh, in Qatar. What is the reason? Remember, before there was a decree that was simply introduced about domestic workers, recruitment of domestic workers, and some of these recruitment offices were argued by the government to work in hand in hand to see that they protect the rights of employers as in the recruitment process of domestic workers in Qatar. And the decree was signed and all recruitment companies in Qatar were, were actually advice to adhere to the new law to see that there is close uh, uh, monitoring and implementation of the government laws. However, some companies have violated the laws and do not work as according we are discussed or according, according to the amendments that we are introduced. So this prompted the government to come in and closure these offices and uh, uh, deprive of their license at one way or the other. What are we talking about? When we're talking about the domestic labor law that was introduced, we see that the probation period of domestic workers were increased from uh, three months to nine months. However, under that, there was still some um, on some guidelines that we are uh, we are we, we are told the door the recruitment uh, agencies or oh, the guidelines the recruitment agencies we are supposed to follow. And those guidelines are uh, part of their guidelines we are supposed to follow is was to guarantee the employer or to guarantee the employer's rights by guaranteeing them a probationary period of nine months of the domestic workers and still compensating or uh, uh, employer terminating the contract of uh, domestic workers in three months in case that domestic worker proved unproductive or unhealthy or unfit to work and still more on that that any extra money or extra and remember, when the termination of three months, if when a domestic worker would be terminated in three months, that means the recruitment agency will have to refund back all the money that is being paid the employer to that car, to, to that office, uh, without even a, without even a single note of it all removed at one or the So that means the recruitment agency will pay all the costs or get all the losses, the losses, and still more on that that they had to adhere to what we call the government percentage that we are supposed to be remitted uh, through what the right channels that we are told. However, some governments, have, some recruitment agencies have tried, have violated uh, what was being discussed and they ended up being, uh, uh, being closed off and their licenses withdrawn, withdrawn in one or the other. I'll just read through, I'll just, just give you a small summary of what the government has said or what was the whole cause of it all at the time. Remember, the Ministry of Labor announced the closure and withdrawal of licenses of trade of labor recruitment agencies for violating the provision of the law as part of the effort of the Ministry to follow up and continuously monitor these offices and ensure the implementation of the decision issued to preserve the rights of employers of domestic workers. The ministry argued all citizens and residents to report any abuses or violations by the recruitment offices of domestic workers regarding the implementation of the decision to extend the guarantee of domestic worker or the decision to set the maximum price for the recruitment of domestic workers through a hotline which was given. The hotline number was 40288101 and through an email at info.moi.gov.qa. That is what the decree was, was signed. Remember before we talked about the uh, recruitment uh, recruitment fees that we are being told to, to charge and uh, the government itself includes what we call new recruitment fees for domestic workers according to different nationalities that we are put afford. And, uh, which meant that for you to hire a maid of that nationality 
uh, the employer had to pay a given amount of money as set by the government. But still, the, the, the recruitment agency himself has to make sure that it protects the rights of the employer. How does it protect the rights of the employer, the domestic worker? By extending or by agreeing on a probationary period of nine months for that domestic worker to serve. Which out of the nine months, the three months probation period, the, the employer had the right to terminate, to terminate the domestic worker contract without even any notice. And the recruitment agency had to refund back all the money paid by the employer back to his account without even a single pay. Hope I've tried to share it. So some of these labor companies have been changed and their licenses have been cut off because they violated by not adhering to what was actually discussed on what was being said, or what was being supposed to be done as instructed by the government. So the government decided to closure these local government agencies and they had to withdraw all their operating licenses at one or the other. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Remember, if you're new to this channel, please support this channel by subscribing. Don't forget to click, give up a thumbs up, and like this video. Share it to a friend that you feel needs this kind of information. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.